Ever wondered how your food made its journey from the soil to your plate? Have you given thought to the traditional farming techniques at work? Let's take a step back in time, before the era of drones and self-driving tractors, when farming was a labor of love, a testament to human perseverance. This was the world of traditional farming, a world where the farmer and the earth were intimately connected. In these times, farming was a physically demanding endeavor, the work of hands and simple tools. Plows were drawn by beasts of burden, seeds were sown by hand, and harvests were reaped with scythes and sickles. It was a time-consuming process, with farmers at the mercy of the elements. Rain, sun, wind and frost, each played a hand in the success or failure of the crops. The challenges were many. Pests and diseases could wipe out an entire season's work in the blink of an eye. Soil degradation was a constant battle, as repeated planting and harvesting stripped the earth of its nutrients. And let's not forget the sheer physical toll on the farmers themselves, working long hours under the sun and the rain. But it wasn't all hardship and struggle. Traditional farming had its merits too. Farmers had a deep understanding of the land and the cycles of nature. They practiced crop rotation and mixed farming, techniques that maintained soil fertility and biodiversity. They relied on natural predators to keep pests in check, and their farms were self-sustaining ecosystems. Yet, as efficient as these methods may have been in their time, they were not without their impact on the environment. Deforestation, soil erosion, and loss of biodiversity were some of the unfortunate side effects of traditional farming. While these techniques have fed generations, one man believed there had to be a better way. Meet the man who dared to question the status quo. In the heart of the countryside, under the vast open skies, a seed of curiosity sprouted in the mind of a seemingly ordinary individual. He was a man rooted in tradition, yet destined to disrupt it. Raised in a family of farmers, his hands were no strangers to the soil, and his heart no stranger to the rhythm of seasons. Yet his mind wasn't content with simply following the footprints left by generations before him. Our protagonist's journey began with a simple question. A question that challenged the very ethos of traditional farming. Why, he wondered, must we rely solely on the methods passed down through the generations? Could there be a better, more efficient way to cultivate our lands and nourish our people? The road to innovation, as we know, is often laden with obstacles, and our visionary's path was no different. Skepticism met his queries, and resistance met his ideas. Yet, beneath the weight of doubt and the shadow of uncertainty, his resolve didn't waver. His belief in the potential for change was as steady as the tides, and as resilient as the crops he tended to. He toiled day and night, experimenting with different techniques, testing new tools, and exploring the vast expanse of knowledge available. He wasn't deterred by the failures, nor was he swayed by the fleeting triumphs. His focus remained steadfast on his ultimate goal, to revolutionize the way we farm. The struggles were real, the challenges immense, and the journey exhausting. But so was his determination. He weathered the storms of criticism, navigated the fog of uncertainty, and trudged through the fields of adversity. His vision for a better, more sustainable and efficient way of farming remained his guiding light, illuminating the path forward. Against all odds, he persevered and eventually came up with a revolutionary farming technique. Now let's delve into the heart of this revolutionary farming technique. Imagine an orchestra where every instrument has its unique sound, but together they create a harmonious symphony. This is the essence of our man's farming technique, a symphony of nature. It's not just about growing crops, it's about creating an ecosystem where every creature, from the tiniest microorganism to the largest mammal, plays a crucial role. Ditching the conventional plow and spray model, this technique uses a method called permaculture. Permaculture is a system of agricultural design that mimics the patterns and features observed in natural ecosystems. It's centered around three core tenets. Care for the earth, care for the people, and fair share. In stark contrast to traditional monoculture farming, which grows single crops in large fields, this method encourages diversity. Different plants are grown together, their roots intertwining and their leaves overlapping. This not only maximizes space, but also creates a symbiotic relationship between the plants. They help each other grow, ward off pests and improve soil fertility. And here's where the science kicks in. This technique leverages the power of nature itself. 
By fostering a healthy soil teeming with microorganisms, it ensures plants get all the nutrients they need. It's a self-sustaining system where the waste from one element becomes the resource for another. The benefits are manifold. For the farmer, it means less reliance on expensive and harmful chemical fertilizers and pesticides. It also requires less water, making it ideal for regions where water is scarce. But the benefits extend beyond the farm. This method encourages biodiversity, which is crucial for a healthy planet. It reduces soil erosion, helps combat climate change by sequestering carbon, and even creates habitats for wildlife. And the best part, the food produced is healthier and tastier too. Because the plants are grown naturally, without any chemical interventions, they are more nutrient dense. And let's not forget, they are grown with love, and love is the secret ingredient to everything delicious. This is not just a farming technique, it's a philosophy, a way of life. It's about living in harmony with nature, about respecting every life form, about giving back to the earth as much as we take from it. It's about creating a world where our children and their children can thrive. It's a technique that challenges everything we thought we knew about farming. So, what does this mean for the future of farming? Let's ponder this for a moment. The impact of this groundbreaking technique is far-reaching. It's more than just a new method. It's a reimagining of how we approach agriculture. And as with any significant innovation, it has the potential to revolutionize the industry. First, let's talk about scalability. Imagine the potential of this technique if it were adopted on a larger scale. Small-scale farmers could see a substantial increase in their yield, while larger commercial farms could benefit from more efficient use of their land and resources. This could lead to a significant boost in food production, addressing one of the most pressing issues of our time, food security. But what's been the response from the farming community? Well, as with any change, it's been a mix of excitement and skepticism. Many are eager to embrace new techniques that could make their work easier and more productive, while others are hesitant, fearing the unknown. Yet the success stories we've shared today are slowly but surely tipping the scales towards acceptance and adoption. And let's not forget about environmental sustainability, another critical concern of our era. Traditional farming methods can be harsh on the land, leading to soil degradation and loss of biodiversity. However, this innovative technique presents a more harmonious approach. It works with nature, not against it, promoting healthier soil and a more diverse ecosystem. In essence, this new farming technique isn't just about growing crops more efficiently, it's about cultivating a better future for us all. It's about creating a sustainable, food-secure future where farmers are empowered and the environment is respected. As we look to the future, it's clear that innovative farming techniques like this could hold the key to feeding our growing population sustainably. As we wrap up, let's reflect on the power of innovation. The journey we've taken today from the traditional approach to farming through the revolutionary techniques of a visionary has shown us the profound impact of innovative thinking. It's not just about making tasks easier or saving time, it's about addressing global challenges, about ensuring our survival on this beautiful planet. We've seen how one man's shocking farming technique has revolutionized the agricultural sector. This is a testament to the fact that no field is beyond the reach of innovation. It's about looking at what we have, the challenges we face and asking, how can we do this better? But innovation isn't just for the selected few. Each one of us can contribute to this continuous journey of progress, whether you're a student, a professional, a homemaker, or a retiree, your ideas can bring about change. So don't underestimate the power of your thoughts, your questions. Remember, every revolutionary idea begins with a single question. What will your question be?